post rainy morning in Quebec City. It is 6.34 and I have a text. Let's give this place one last little look before I'm on my way. Finally getting to the Maritimes today. New province, New Brunswick. And that's uh, gonna take me about seven and three quarters of one hour to get there. And even though I look forward to Moncton, I don't think it'll be quite as pretty or old school new friends. Well, should have, should have expected French uh, radio through Quebec and New Brunswick, actually. Let's get the show on the road. If you look carefully, way down there, those are the bridges I just crossed over from Quebec onto the south shore of the Fleuve Saint Laurent, where I am right now. Quebec across the river. Quebec City, that is. It's pretty good looking. really widening up. We're about 66 kilometers out of uh, Riviere de Loup. I turn off to get into New Brunswick. And there's the mighty Fleuve Saint Laurent. I'm on the Appalachian side and that's the Laurentian backslash Canadian Shield side across the way. So I'm driving on uh, Provincial Highway 185. It's just outside of the city of Riviere de Loup. Uh, this is part of the Trans-Canada Highway, but as you can see, it's been downgraded from that wonderful four-lane freeway interstate type thing. Now to this two-lane wonderfulness. It's not that wonderful. Hey! New province coming up, 87 clicks. In Sydney Crosby kilometers, I'll be in New Brunswick. Anyway, um, Quebec is working on uh, four laning this, clearly not in this stretch, not from what I can see, but this is the last part of the Trans Canada Highway that needs to be uh, turned into a freeway which would connect all of Southern Ontario, Ottawa, Montreal, Quebec City to all points in the Maritime Provinces up to and including Halifax. So this is the only gap. All those cities are connected uh, with freeways already, but you would have to use the interstates of the United States in order to make that happen. And you want to cross the border that often just to get into your own country. In some cases, it's much quicker, uh, but it's nice to see you can do it all, all on your own at the same time. Canada's growing up, guys. It took 150 years. Let's, let's add a couple more lanes to this road. So I'm not stuck behind trucks like this. Or, oh well, I made good time up until this point. Adios, muchachos.